I'm going to give you an overview of how the bottle-to-bottle -bottle honey production system works. The basic unit of any beekeeping system is the brood nest. This is where the queen and most of the bees rear brood and store honey that is exclusively for their own use. All successful honey bee hives will have a brood chamber or else the colony will quickly die out. This is the bee's main task, to keep the brood chamber running and ensure the survival of the colony. In the bottle-to-bottle -bottle system, the brood nest is housed in basic round or square bottles. A five-gallon bottle has less area than a typical Langstroth hive brood box. This is both good and bad. To achieve the equivalent of a deep eight-frame Langstroth box requires two five-gallon bottles to be stacked together. However, each of these five-gallon bottles will weigh less than the Langstroth box and will thus be more maneuverable. Another advantage of the bottle-to-bottle -bottle system is the reduced contact with the bees. A removable lid provides protection from the elements. The brood nest may contain wooden frames with sheets of beeswax foundation to help guide the bees to build straight combs. The bees, as in nature, will build combs without the frames, but having straight comb helps with the inspection of the hive. The brood nest sits on top of a bottom board. This is the floor to the beehive and provides an entrance for the bees. The entrance is a critical part of the hive because it limits the overall size of anything that can enter, thus keeping out critters that would destroy the hive and it provides a limited area that the bees have to defend against anything small enough to use the entrance, such as bees from other colonies that want to rob the honey. Many bottom boards now have screened mesh to help with ventilation, drain out moisture, and hinder varroa mites. A hive stand keeps the hive assembly off the ground to help keep moisture and vermin out and allows airflow beneath the hive. A super is a smaller container that is superimposed or stacked on top of the brood chamber. This is where the bees will store their surplus honey, the honey that you want to harvest. Traditional supers have frames and foundations that are important for traditional honey extraction, but some beekeepers have the bees build and store honeycomb in mason jars. The bottle-to-bottle -bottle honey production system recycles bottles that are then cut open to remove the natural comb. The honey is then pressed to separate it from the beeswax, thus eliminating the need for an expensive honey extractor. Bottle supers with non-standard size frames are an option for the bottle beehive system. Some beekeepers use a queen excluder between the brood nest and the super to keep the queen from trying to lay eggs in the super, but many beekeepers do not. The final optional piece to the system is a modified bucket swarm trap. The bucket is only used if we are trying to lure a swarm of bees into our hive. If they decide to move in, they will enter through the bucket, then move up into the brood bottle. Once the queen has moved into the brood bottle, the bottle is lifted off the bucket and set on top of your bottom board and hive stand. So, from start to finish. A hive trap is set out to lure the bees into the first brood bottle. Once the bees are in the bottle, it is moved to the bottom board and stand. As the colony grows, an additional bottle is added to the hive stack. Because five-gallon bottles are lighter weight than Langstroth or Warre boxes, we can add the new bottle below the existing one. When the colony is established and ready to produce additional honey stores, a super is added to the top of the hive stack. When the super is full, we remove it and replace it with another empty bottle. Then the full super is opened up and the comb removed. The comb is crushed to extract the honey. Then the honey can be filtered to remove smaller bits of wax and the beeswax is melted down for use. Over the lifetime of the bottle-to-bottle -bottle hive, the older five-gallon bottles will be taken out of the stack, have the comb removed, get cleaned and reused as a new brood nest. This will force the bees to build new comb, but it will benefit the health of the colony in the long term.